Hey guys, Data Lorena here. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel and all of my fellow TikTok fam coming over to this page. I appreciate you. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Today, we're talking about the top 10 Mandalorians that I want more of. So let's start off with number 10. Number 10 starts us off with Aaron Tao. Aaron Tao is a Mandalorian character looking to serve up fiery justice. Aaron Tao was a male Mandalorian who was active on Vespara, where he fought in the arena in the Hunters of the Outer Rim tournament. He was equipped with Mandalorian armor and blaster pistols. Much is known about this character, seeing that the game still has yet to release. But based on the design and small footage we do have, I am nonetheless excited to learn more about this character. Number nine, I would also like to see more of Jaster Muriel. A Mandalore and leader of the Super Commando Mandalorians is famously known for being the adoptive mentor to Jango Fett. Aside from the comics, it would be pretty cool to get more visualization or flashbacks of this character and his time period. Number eight, Sabine Wren. For those familiar with Star Wars Rebels, this is a buckethead that doesn't need my introduction. However, I am curious about what she is up to during the time of the Mandalorian. Some like myself predict we will see more of her intel and her whereabouts, possibly in the anticipated Ahsoka show. Number 7. Corky Kriz. Corky was the nephew to both Bo-Katan Kriz and her sister, Satine Kriz. There is so much speculation and conspiracies about the character's true lineage, which I hope honestly gets explored in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, if you know what I mean. Number 6, Paz Vizsla. This character made his debut in Season 1 of The Mandalorian, voiced by Jon Favreau. I have the Lego figurine of this character. I thought the persona and the character design was really cool in the show. All I'm saying is I want more, especially since he has that Vizsla name. Another Mandalorian we definitely need more of is number 5, Finn Ra. He was a male Mandalorian who served as the protector of the planet Conquered Dawn during the reign of the Galactic Empire. Finn Ra eventually joined the Rebel Alliance after being inspired by the courage and loyalty of Sabine Wren, a fellow Mandalorian and member of House Vizsla. Number 4. Another part of Mandalorians that I would really like to see explored is during the time era of the High Republic. While no specific name drops have been given, Mandalorians a few times in the novelization of the High Republic have been mentioned. I for one would absolutely love to see more about, you know, what's going on with Mandalore and Mandalorians during this time period of the galaxy. Number three, another Mandalorian character I would like to spend more time with in lore is obviously the Armorer. Now, I know we were introduced to her in the Mandalorian series, but my hope is that we will eventually get a glimpse into her past and early life. The character strikes me as such a sage, but I also, you know, see her as a complete badass, so it's a no-brainer that we would want more of the Armorer. Number two, the Mandalorian. It's no secret I am anxiously waiting for season three of The Mandalorian like so many of you. So many predictions and theories as to what the third season will revolve around. Will he become the Mandalore? Will he destroy the Darksaber? Will there be this kind of friction between him and Bo-Katan? And will we see Grogu again? Questions I live with until 2023. Number one, Tar Vizsla. This is the number one Mandalorian we need to see more of. Rather that be in novelization or animation, either is fine with me. There's just so much history and badassery revolved around the Force-sensitive Mandalorian who created the Darksaber. Although, there is something cool about not having so much information because it leaves room for legend and mystery, which I'm okay with too. Well, that concludes today's video. If you enjoyed hearing me ramble on, please hit that thumbs up button and drop a comment letting me know who your favorite Mandalorian character is. Be sure to subscribe for weekly content. I'll see you all next time. This is the way.